your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso. Thanks so much for joining us right here. Well, we are outside with Missy Overturf. We are creating beautiful things. We are upcycling. Now, before the break, we talked about her book, which is absolutely amazing. And now we want to step in there and literally turn old treasures into beautiful things. Now, remember those uh, uh, veggie racks that you used to get? I mean, my mom had one and I still have one in my house that I use for... 50s, 60s or 70s, 70s item. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, don't I, know. Have a, I have a retro one in my kitchen, but we want to <laughs> upcycle this and, and literally change the way it looks. First of all, how did you stumble upon the, the veggie rack? How do you know it's something that you can turn into something else? I found it, um, I actually use one in my bathroom. So <laughs> there's another idea for someone. See? <laughs> yeah. I have one. I use mine for washing powder. I have a beautiful um, uh, box that I put it in and then that's where I store everything. Yeah. Anyway, yes. So it's functional and then I saw another one and mm -hmm. I thought, what am I going to do with it? And I thought, you know, we have uh, space constraints or people that live in rented places always looking for or ideas. Apartments, yes. Yeah. So um, in the kitchen, so I thought a vertical garden. Okay. Like a little tiny like a mini little... Show me. I want to see how you did it. Okay. So this and is your your. Here it is. Yeah. So what's so, in the bottom? I mean, you. I see the soil, but h how do you make sure that it doesn't so, seep through? So in the book, um, I used moss. So for today, I had to do another plan because I didn't. Know I was running out of moss. <laughs> so I lined the. the the shelf with moss and then put some so uh, uh, landscaping cloth in and then I put soil in and planted the plants and they grow out as you can see they creep up mm. and you can also th there's some uh, herbs and veggies that or, that need shade so it's perfect you can just uh, plant them uh, I want to see want. how easy it is so I can literally get my hands dirty in here so how okay. would one do it I mean if this is all my let's take this off you've even got salad leaves here okay yeah. so what goes in first so for this look I quite like the Oh, wanted to clatter with No, Hessian. Missy, I want to do it. Let, <laughs> okay. let me do it. Okay, sure. wait. So you hold on to that. So what is this called? That's Hessian. Okay. And where can you get this from? Um, from most hard, um, hardware stores. They okay. sell it. They use it as drop ah, sheets. This is making sure that it doesn't seep through. Yeah, okay, the so soil. This? That will keep the soil in place. Okay. So that's landscaping oh, cloth. Oh, wow. That look, I just found a bucket of soil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so but you said you yeah. used moss, right? Yeah. So that looks prettier. Okay. But the, so the moss dies after a bit. So okay, and how wet does it have to be? So you water them, and what's cool about this is the water seeps through, so it's like a little, like a, f like a f water falls down and da uh, waters the bottom section. Right. I wonder if I, do, I, do I take this out? Yeah. We kay. need some more soil. We need more soil. Okay, you okay, do that. So I give you more soil. Okay, so you can do this at home. It's in Missy's book. Missy, what's that book called again? 50 Upcycling Projects. Okay, 50 From upcycling. Trash to Treasure. Yeah, well, this is a short treasure. I would cook with that in like one serving. And then it's but all finished. Grow. Okay, so but this is in your book as well. Yes. Okay, so. I think that's enough. So you do that, and then you have a garden. Salad leaves. Yeah, and you have a little mini garden. Uh, and Perfect how? on your stoop or outside the back door. Can you leave kitchen. it inside? I think it's gonna. No, no I think. Yeah. You, bite the blood. <laughs> you need some sunlight. I can see how my man invited to sweat with when you close the window is good because <laughs> you get those that are on wheels as well. Okay, so that's beautiful. That's just one idea of, of how you can and, and like how you said, you know, apply it to apartment living and 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 do it like that. Okay, so a vertical garden. What else is in there that's that's really easy to do for apartment living or when your space is a whole lot smaller? Um, I think the that. But making furniture that's smaller for yourself, so using a wooden cube and then cladding it with maybe like a granite or a marble top. You know, that's the marble look is quite yeah, trendy at yeah. the moment. So I found this wooden cube that was discarded at Woodstock Dump and just put a top on. So that was that's an easy side really table easy or bedside table. Yeah. Or I took an old drawer and just put it on brackets next to a bed. So that's your little bedside table. Um, so it looks quite quirky and a fun project to do. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, there's a whole lot of fun projects in Missy's book and we want you to have one. Also, again, we have four copies of Missy's book to give away okay. and to enter. All you need to do is to simply SMS that keyword. The keyword for this morning is COMP, C-O-M-P, to 33728. Don't forget to add in your name and also your city so that we know where you're from and you can SMS that. So hurry, you have to do it before the end of the show. And uh, remember, our T's and C's are on our Expresso uh, website. So Expresso show.com. Missy, thanks so much for joining thanks, us this morning. And Ali Best with the prachtige book. 50 upcycling projects. Okay. Well, there's lots more happening on the show. In fact, uh, Zoe is doing her own DIY and she's making, I think, a wreck. Hey, Zoe. <laughs>